Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing a review for you on the Robert Jones makeup brushes. So I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow brushes and then move on to the other two. So I bought these all myself. Um, the whole set was $200, I believe. So I'm gonna go through the brushes and kind of tell you what I feel about them. I'm just gonna pick up the eyeshadow brushes um, a little bit separately and just go through them and then I'll talk to you about the rest. Now, eyeshadow brushes look like this and the real standouts are the number 15 brush which is this brush which is really good for hooded eyes because of the size of it it kind of gets into a lot of the hooded area and this brush which is the number 27 brush which is like a contouring brush to apply a deeper shade color is really good and the hairs are really flexible not to mention incredibly soft this is a sort of lay down brush to apply the kind of lightest color and then there is another kind of smaller brush which you can use for contouring or your lid, highlight, whatever you want. So that's the four eyeshadow brushes. There is a blending brush here which is the number 28 brush. This is used purely for blending. You could apply one sweep of color kind of from lash line to brow, but this is used to just blend out your colors and it's very, very good at that and very soft. Now, the next brush is are the pencil brush which is very good, the number 13, which is very, very good as a pencil brush because the shape and size of it makes it great for kind of going underneath the eye and a strong kind of socket. The two more problematic brushes are the number 11 and the number 29. The reason for this is because they are incredibly coarse. The hair quality is very, very coarse. And the number 11 particularly, it can feel like you're exfoliating your eyelid by, by using this, which I think is a shame considering the price because these are on par with MAC, and MAC obviously are making a much softer brush hair than this, which is really sad. The number 29 suffers from the same problems as the number 11, but it's got a finer taper to it, so it's better for those of you with sort of smaller eyes like mine or smaller creases. But the shape and size of them are really good. The two standouts in the whole range are the number 64 and the number 73, which are both blusher brushes. This is your standard kind of blusher brush for powder blush. This can be used for powder blush and cream blush, and it's absolutely amazing at buffing it on the cheeks. The handles on all of them are quite short, which is great if you've got smaller hands, but not so great if you've got quite large hands. Overall, this is a good brush selection. I wish the hair was a little bit softer on the crease brushes, and considering the price point, it really should be, but otherwise, it's excellent value. Sadly, there are no makeup, ad uh, makeup artist discounts to be had on any of these brushes, which is kind of disappointing, as I would have hoped there would be, or something else, but um, otherwise, pretty good. Pretty good review. Most of them are nice, just be careful with the crease brushes. Beautiful shape, but unfortunately, quite coarse. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.